Hey, today we're going to do a really fun assignment on vr.vex.com where we have to knock over, and you can kind of freestyle it, you got to knock over uh, a bunch of these virtual castles with your robot. So today we're doing a little bit of demolition with a robot, which is kind of fun. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is go up here and um, change this to your name and, whoops, Castle Crafter. Castle Crasher. And we're going to open up the playground. And for this one, we need to switch it to, you guessed it, Castle, Castle Crasher. Now, there's a lot to see in this that's very important. So I highly recommend you expand to make it as big as possible if it fits on your screen. And then also press this button over here and it gets rid of the data and it makes the viewing um, much larger even still. We need access to these camera buttons over here. So what we have here is a world where there are all these castles. There, they, every one of these castles has a pyramid roof to it. Your goal is to command your robot to go around and knock over every castle so that the pyramid roof part at least falls over. So let's, uh, first of all, let's go through how this is going to be scored, okay, because what counts and what doesn't. So I've just set up this little program. Highly recommend you use the set drive velocity to 100 and set turn velocity because this one's going to take a while. You have to move long ways. Let me show you this program and I'll show you what counts and what doesn't count. Simple program, I'm going forward one meter or a thousand millimeters, right? Same thing. So we press play. Okay, this is a great example because we can see that two parts of this middle castle have been knocked over successfully because the pyramid top is down. And if we look carefully here, we can see these other two are still, they've been moved a bit, but they are not done yet. Okay, so those are still standing. All right, so. Uh, this would count as something that was knocked over. This one would not. You have to go back and get it. Now you don't. You can go back and turn and get it. You gotta. You know. You can do whatever you want, but it's not done yet. And remember, you have to do this for all of the structures on the map. All right. Let's just get started, and um, I'm just gonna kind of uh, start from scratch here, and let's just. I'll work through. Um, how about this? I'll destroy this one and this one and then I'll leave the rest of it to you and you can do this in any way you can start off with the little one bounce over here whatever you want you just gotta knock all these over and have fun while you're demolishing things that's always the most fun isn't it alright we like to build stuff we're makers but a little destruction every now and again is kinda of fun alright first of all you're gonna be replaying this again and again highly recommend you turn up the drive velocity to 100 percent and you set the turn velocity to 100 percent Otherwise, like I said, it's going to take a long, long time. So now just to show you a different strategy, at first I just drove right at it in the, in the first example, um, and it was kind of partially successful. You know what I'm kind of thinking? I'm kind of thinking if I go diagonally this way and come at it from the side, maybe if I come at it from an angle, it might work. I don't know. Maybe it's not a good idea, but whatever. Let's try it. So let's grab a right turn, and I'm going to keep it at right turn and, and I don't want to go all the way to 90 degrees that would send me over towards this way I want to go about halfway through so half of 90 is 45 degrees let's see what that looks like yep my robots just turned facing this way and then I'm gonna drive forward I don't even know maybe like it's like uh, 700 millimeters let's try it reset and try it out ooh I want to be lined up with this so that's too far Let's just uh, reduce that down to 600. See, it's just a lot of guess and check. That's why it's really important to set your drive and turn velocities up so that you get quick reruns to see if your program works because you have to just try it out. Still too far. I want to just go 550. And you know what? I think that's going to do it, but let's find out. Cool. Now I'm going to turn 90 degrees because it would be 45 and 45, so 90, um, a right angle. And then that should line me up right with this middle here. And again, if you don't like this way, I'm like, what? Why is he doing that? Oops, I want to go left. My bad. There we go. That's why it's important to try your code out. Even the teacher's making some mistakes, isn't he? All right, so let's try, you know, if that's only 550, this has got to be like, let's try 1,200, 1,200. Okay, so 1,200. 
Now, my theory was that this will knock them all over. Oh, it didn't. Almost. You can see we actually left one of them standing in the middle. The other one, that's in the background. So, uh, Okay, well, let's try again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go up here, and I'm. this looks like it's really good to knock this over. And that's that was one of my goals. I'm just going to keep going this direction. Let's try uh, 1,500, because I need to go further, don't I? So far, I'm pretty happy with the program. And we can always loop back and get that other one that we missed in the middle. Okay, not far enough. Let's try 1,750. <clears throat> try that. 2,000 would be too much. Let's go halfway between 1,500. Okay, that's good. These are all considered as being knocked over, as crashed. Now we need to go back here. Now look, if I made a 180 degree turn, it would go straight back. Let's let's see what that looks like. Remember, 180 degrees is a straight backwards turn. So you, you, you go, you're basically turning to go back the way you just came from. So 180. Okay, we go to the zigzag. And you don't have to do this. I want to see all kinds of, you could go and any order you want. I'd like to see different solutions. Because you can see how much science is there to what I'm doing. I'm just trying stuff out. Oh, um, if I go forward, am I going to hit that? It looks like I might miss. But you know what? Let's just try it out. Um, let's say we go back 1,000. All right, let's try that out. See if we can go back and pick up that one that I missed earlier in the middle. See, this is really fun because it's not a lot less rules and just more like, hey, try it out. If it works, it works. Oh, almost. You know what? I'm off. My aim is off. I need to turn more. When I turn right, it spun around this way. I need to go a little more. So instead of a 180 degree turn, I'm going to go 190 degrees. Let's just try it out. Just like 10 degrees more. See if we can come back and hit that one in the middle. Perfect. Okay. Hey. Hey, and look at that. We got the one back in the middle. Now, I'm going to leave you guys to the rest of the assignment, but I can tell you my strategy going forward from here is I have one, two, three of them to do. All right, so there's three of them I have to knock over. So probably the next thing I would do is I would start tweaking a turn to head towards this one down here. I'm not going to do much more than that, but you know, so my next move would be a, let's see, would that be a right turn? Um, I don't think it's 90. I think it's going to be like 60. So let's just do that, and then I'll leave you guys to it. And you can see, uh, that's not enough of a turn, you know, so I'd try 70. And from there, remember you're done with the assignment when all of the rooftops, those tri um, excuse me, the pyramid rooftops, have all been knocked over to the ground. There we go, we picked up that one. Good luck and happy hunting and happy smashing. Destroy your enemy's castles. Okay, that might be going a little too far trying to make tech class exciting, but you get it. Have fun with this. It's a good Friday assignment.